lifestyle not only for themselves but how it's going to impact their family how it's going to impact their children to grow up as better people so that is what according to me makes them the more important partner well we have uh, a wonderful electricals they have really stood by us for a long time and committed our association thank you milind um good evening ladies and gentlemen <laughs> uh, my name is veena koshi um a late bloomer as far as uh, running is concerned but uh, more importantly as a brand bajaj um we've been associated uh, with pinkathon in fact um, somewhere around 2013 and i remember this beautiful story um we started off on a very small scale because um uh, pinkathon we didn't know much about so we just started off as gifting partners but by the second year and when we saw in couple of cities um the kind of uh, movement that women were actually uh, so excited about and we could actually get couple of our branch uh, employees their spouses and the women to participate in those respective cities we realized this is going to be something really big so i remember the story when uh, milind actually came to the office at um, um, bajaj and um, he was walking down the aisle and as it would be uh, my cabin is the last in fact in the corridor so i have this whole frenzy of all the women and men staring you know ki milind aaya hai and um, i remember uh, so we were doing our meeting and we could see this flurry of women walking by and going and then some of my colleagues came and said you know um, aaj tak bajaj mein itni auraton ne chala nahi hai just because they saw milind they happened to be walking past you know so I, I think that was a moment that started in fact in bajaj um we did a really um in fact we moved on from just being um uh, gifting partners to something really big we are the inspiring partners and um we take up causes um uh, very simple so there are runners and there are some runners who are from special categories and we really want to reward them and that's how our association started from being just uh, for one year we were looking at long term so into 3 and 5 years association um i'm very proud of this because um personally for me i was very happy doing a 6 km dream run and i thought that's all i could achieve um till milan told me that if you can do 6 then um, we have a 10 km category at pinkathon why don't you try that i tried that and then he said yeah if you can do 10 you can easily do 21 and um he actually inspired me um this year 2016 jan i really attempted the half marathon i could actually <laughs> Thank you. I'm actually inspired my daughter also to join me in. So we both are running and we're trying again um, next year too. So thanks a lot. Um, personally and professionally, it's been a very gratifying experience, and we just hope to keep on going on and on about this. Thank you. But it's absolutely inspiring to see her. I mean, I don't know how old she must be. At least 50 plus. Yeah, get out too. <laughs> so I started running after 45. I have done one half marathon, like how you said, but it was good. It is not easy. It is not easy. Ten is easy, but twenty-one is a mind game. But still, it is possible. Anybody can do it. And since we have done how many hundred and sixty, hundred and ninety kilometers, sixty. Wonderful. It's absolutely wonderful that ladies are taking to the running field. Definitely next year is. And I have also managed to bring a few. Uh, doctor, thank you, Apollo. Uh, our next guest, very very special, my dear friend. Devika Bhojwani. So when we, when she's six, says, "Oh, nothing, nothing's the matter. I'll just have some haldi ka dood and it'll be fine." And you have that on your tongue all the time, I'm sure. But the important thing, is Devika, absolute inspiration. So I'm a survivor, but that's not my definition. I'm a woman, but that's not my limitation. <laughs> Thank you, cancer, for making me fearless. Thank you, Pinkathon. for not leaving me nameless friends when i got my cancer for the first time i was in a total why me mode but then when it came visiting a second time i said enough is enough now i've got to change my life script from a horror script to a happy one so i thought let me do something that's really different and um, You know, there were people coming to me and saying, "Ma'am, it was nice knowing you." I said, "Hey, where am I going?" And I, I was looking for some, you know, uh, people to cheer me, and I was getting Bon Voyage confetti. That was very upsetting. <clears throat> so I decided <clears throat> I would bring some um, 
action into my life. So I have been a writer all my life, but then I wrote this strange book with a strange name called <clears throat> To Cancer With Love, My Journey of Joy. About a lot of things, um, from pap smears to going to the gynac to getting your breast checked. It was never taboo, so for me, since I was little, I would always be on my way to the doctor or in school, we were taught how to give ourselves a breast um, check. So I'll start from there. I was 16 and I checked my breast because I was told in school that's what you have to do and lo and behold I found a lump and I was like oh my god what is going to happen now. So I've had three lumps removed but they were not benign so uh, thank god. But then my mother got breast cancer and um, she fought it and first stage she caught it and she won. She's, she's a survivor as well but obviously, um, <laughs> thank you. Um, but because it's now hereditary, I have to make sure that I keep getting checked again and again and again, and that's okay. Um, so when Millen bullied me and said, you're running for my pingathon, um, it wasn't actually the running, it was the breast cancer that it represented, which is what I wanted to run for my mother. Because um, my mom, to me, is a superwoman. She can do like 500 things at a time, so what's one run for me? Um, and I have to, I can't lie, I didn't want to tell him, but I was in LA and the Pinkathon was in like a week and I had to fly back and he said, I hope you haven't forgotten and I was like, no, 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 I I've been training this whole time and um, I got back and my friends made me go out that night and I was like, oh my god, I have a marathon to run. So no training, no sleep, I hadn't eaten and I the worst way to exercise, by the way, please do not take any of my advice of what I'm giving you. I'm just saying that he's a bully, so I have to be there. And I'm stretching and, and I'm looking like I'm, I'm really ready for this. And Millen's like, so you're, you're good? And he said, everyone's been training for the last 40 days. And I'm like, oh my God, I've never ran 10 kilometers in my life. I don't know what I'm gonna do. And then he puts me right in the center at the, at the start line. There are five girls here, five girls there, all barefoot proper athletic runners and I'm like oh my god so I'm posing because I don't know what else to do I'm posing for the camera saying we had it let's distract people and they're all giving me these looks like oh this girl is going to be useless I don't want to be useless in life so and there's hundreds of girls behind me all ready to run and I'm thinking oh my god no one's going to kill me and um and suddenly it goes off and you know what I said to myself okay let's just do this for my mom what would she do? She would just get through it, right? So I ran my ass off. We're not allowed to use this on TV, but I can use it here, because I really did. And I just kept running, 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 and now I have a very short attention span, so I can get distracted easily, so I just kept trying to focus the whole time. And then, you know, they, they show you those signs, right? You know, um, five kilometers, this, that. So they trick you in the end. They don't say one kilometer, they say a thousand meters. Now I read it as a hundred. So I got so excited, I was like, a hundred meters to go? I started sprinting and then I realized, oh my God, that said a thousand. Now you can't stop because your legs are gonna give way, especially if you're not a runner like Millen. So I ran the whole thousand meters all the way to the finish line and I have to say, I came 13th that day. Wow. <laughs> and, and no training, no nothing. And um, I'll run this year because I haven't run after that. <laughs> but I will run this year. Not now. I'll do this. Oh. <laughs> 21. Yes, let's do it. But I'm, I'm just so proud. Millen has been um, an amazing friend. And like everybody knows, he's so inspiring. When he ran 100 kilometers, I was tired just watching him on the television. But, um, you know, we need more people like this in our country because growing up in Australia, we were aware. And uh, I'm in my country now, and I want every girl to be as aware as I was when I was growing up. So thank you, all of you, for your amazing work.